which we have for the first time, if you haven't already. We can see that the calf is now sitting upright. The rest of the herd, we're going to try and get our feet under us again. Youngster for Katie's attention. We'll see how that goes. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> we tried a challenge to get those legs positioned in the right spot underneath the body. And just stand up and follow mom just like it would out in the wild. And that for us is a good indicator that this is a healthy youngster. Tomorrow morning to give us a good estimate of what that calf's weight is. Here in the giraffe barn at the Dallas Zoo, we're equipped with a giraffe sized scale. Essentially, that scale is designed into the building in a position so that our giraffes can step on and off that scale daily as part of their training regimen. That allows us to monitor their health through body weight. And in the case of a calf like the mom, lots and lots of new sights and smells to get used to. Africa is a program that we've worked with in the past. It does phenomenal work to help us understand giraffes out in the wild. Some of those observations help us to make sure that we provide the best care for the giraffes that live here. And a lot of their work is focused on finding ways to connect local African people with giraffe conservation efforts in the wild to make sure that we still have giraffes here on Earth in 100 years. I should mention that all of the giraffes that you see in American zoos were what she was doing. We saw the front hooves of the calf, an outstanding level of husbandry. Back to here. All right, it's my impression that this birth was uh, really textbook. It, uh, once the labor started, the calf was delivered in a timely manner, and uh, the mom uh, took care of it, started licking it, and it couldn't have gone any smoother. We will take the opportunity in the animal health department to do it. Now at this point, our veterinary staff are all here in the office with us. We're utilizing these high definition cameras to, to check the youngster out and check mom out. And we've got a calf on its feet. <laughs> That's a huge step. That's quite a milestone for a little calf. We're not quite sure that his hooves are totally underneath him, but he's in the standing position, which is a good, good sign. We in the right spot, you think? Good, 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 good. We love seeing each of these milestones as this little one progresses. We're not quite coordinated enough to walk, but that's okay. We are at least in the standing position, and that's the first step towards being close enough to mom that we can nurse. And mom is going to keep cleaning and licking and keeping that youngster totally stimulated and, and clean. We always hope that mom, in her efforts to keep the youngster clean, doesn't knock the baby back over. Sometimes that happens, but that's also natural. Is maybe not actually totally six feet tall. Might be a little shorter than six feet. But giraffe calves can be up to six feet or so in height. Yeah, youngsters may be five, somewhere between five and six feet tall, we'd guess. Just from looking at cameras. You can see it on a lot of other giraffes. are totally fascinated, too. And we were really excited to partner with Animal Planet on this project, gave us the opportunity to share this amazing birth with all sorts of people. There are fewer than 450 articulated giraffes, I should say, in North America. As of today, there is one more. There are fewer than 100,000 giraffes in all of Africa. So even though this species is not officially endangered yet, their populations aren't doing very well out in the wild. So this calf is an important ambassador for his or her species. We hope that guests who visit zoos will get excited about the wildlife that they meet at the zoo and want to go home and learn more about wildlife and things that we can all do to help protect them. We can, of course, keep watching this